Hi, in this mission we are going to use this uh, rover attached uh, onto the top of this rocket to go to Duna again and to find the Curiosity camera buried in the ground. So after losing uh, the solid boosters and uh, the external tanks, the single mainsail boosts us almost into orbit but it uh, falls short uh, with its delta v so the final poodle engine circularizes uh, and after that uh, we can escape towards Duna now uh, this time I learned to use this uh, launch window I had so I didn't have as many problems as in the previous video So there was no midway course correction, just uh, a few changes uh, in the beginning. And after that, it was just an easy cruise to Luna. The recorded footage is around the same as the previous video, so two hours. However, somehow uh, this edited version came out longer. The point here is not to do an equatorial orbit. My initial uh, one was just uh, for uh, a closer approach and after that I corrected to a highly inclined orbit because I knew that my target is uh, somewhere south. I had to break a little here because I wasn't getting into orbit. But after that, uh, my air braking was too too hard on me, and I had to burn to stay into orbit. It wasn't much, but still. Anyway, once I was in orbit, I needed to wait until my target site uh, got into position. The problem with inclined orbits is always that uh, it's not only a timing where to start braking on the orbit but uh, in which orbit to start braking because your target site is always moving with the rotation of the planet. But once it was in position I fired the engines to take me into the atmosphere and begin my approach. The good thing in this design that uh, it has lift on the body and also it has these wings which makes it, mm, which make uh, make it stable. It's possible to steer it a little bit left to right, uh, but mostly up down, so it glides. I had to burn several times to stay into the upper atmosphere, but after that, even though the speed is decreasing, the landing position doesn't get closer, because this craft is gliding, and this makes it easier to land. You can uh, have uh, precise landings this way. Well somewhat precise without uh, uh, actually using a fuel. I ditched uh, the cruise stage, steered right from it to avoid it uh, when I opened the parachutes. There are these gears uh, on the undercarriage. It's there to protect uh, the powered uh, wheels uh, from the impact. So this way it's possible to land without uh, using any fuel. So after landing I checked my position on the map, it turned out that uh, I was around 1 degree to the north and to the east, which is quite close if we take into account the capabilities of this rover. It behaves quite nicely. There is only one rule to take uh, 
just never go faster than 25 meter per second because that uh, way it's uh, stable about that uh, it's hard to steer and hard to do anything uh, without uh, endangering the mission especially braking and uh, some um, kind of bumps on the road can cause uh, you in un untimely death so it's better uh, not to go that fast I could look around while driving it's always exciting to drive uh, on a Duna surface even though I did this journey several times in the past actually this uh, rover was designed especially uh, to get me uh, to this uh, buried curiosity camera and when I was not too far the camera appeared it's a tiny tiny speck it's it's possible to find it in the dark but it's very hard and it's there just moved into position and got out the guys Jeb of course planted the flag and Bill got out to to have this cinematic shot of them standing next to the camera and the flag after that there was uh, nothing else to do so got back into the rover and it was time to turn this into a spaceship originally it was designed around a crew stage with nuclear engines but I realized that it uh, had sufficient delta V to get back into Kerbin without uh, uh, an in-orbit uh, crew stage so there is no docking which makes our job easier after getting up to 20 meters per second speed engage the engines before they burnt out I started the secondary uh, engine or main engine actually it's a main engine just ditched uh, the useless parts and continued my uh, ascent uh, into orbit I like this design because it looks like some kind of spearhead it's very aerodynamic and uh, sleek So once in orbit and there is only one thing to do find the correct spot for the escape burn which in this case turned out quite well because uh, it was almost uh, without an inclination change despite uh, the inclined orbit however there was some slight uh, problem preventing me to correctly escape uh, to know as it uh, should have happened the program sent me back to a very elongated orbit instead of an escape trajectory several times so I had to do multiple burns uh, just to keep me going away from Duna this wasted some fuel but I knew that uh, there is enough to get me back safely it's not the first time I used this ship I knew it quite well once uh, in solar orbit the usual inclination changed 0 0.1 degrees and finding the correct timing for the deceleration burn towards Kerbin
corrected for an equatorial orbit as it turned out that it didn't need any other corrections after this because it was perfect so the usual error capture once again it was not deep enough in the atmosphere I needed a burn but still I had plenty of fuel left after several error braking maneuvers I was on my usual 72 kilometers orbit yes uh, this uh, took quite a while like 10 minutes or so I was too cautious but it's better to be conservative uh, in case of error braking after all it only takes some time In the last one I needed to burn a little bit of fuel to stay in space but not very much it's, it was really just a tiny amount the problem with this uh, ship is during this final re-entry it is super stable and you can't do anything about it because uh, you can't pump the fuel backwards it's, it's already at the, at the last tank uh, very close to the engine which means that it's harder to steer so your initial aim has to be correct but because it has lift on the body it still has some lift even though it doesn't have wings it's harder to find the cor correct position and in the lower atmosphere it's very hard to steer because it wants to point its nose towards uh, its uh, velocity vector and the, actually this is uh, what happened to me on the final approach I saw the time too high up but uh, there was uh, no possibility to move it fast enough to the more dense atmosphere which went I overshot a little but I could uh, turn back it, it really f uh, flew back with a slow speed but uh, it was not enough sunrise to tell the truth uh, I did this video twice because on the previous attempt I was right on target I was landing right next to the space center but because of some bug uh, the parachutes disappeared after they opened I don't know why and then it crashed to the ground from a few hundred meters So after opening the pressures there was nothing else to do, try to turn back but it was not very useful. So just uh, let myself uh, fall into the ocean. Thanks for watching. Bye.